what's up guys i'm back with another video um it's been like a month or two the girl's been putting the work in the girl's been working the girl has not had time to do youtube but now i am officially back and i actually made it this time because i have been on myself and i've noticed that you guys have been subscribing to me and i haven't been here at all so i'm so happy about that to say hello to all my new subscribers okay um i look a little different i have tattoos now um this is in the span of over the two months that i've been gone i made a little bit of a altercations to myself <laughs> but um i really do love it and it's something i wanted to be doing for a really long time so i'm glad that i finally got to do that um i also have one on my arm you can't really see too well yeah i have like a one on my arm here this one is fully healed this one is new so oops i'm here like wearing the outfit that i'm gonna be wearing for like the haul because honestly i didn't have time to put on my robe but my bra is being weird so today is going to be a killstar haul I was waiting for everything to come. I'm like a hypochondriac. I have to wait for everything to come before I start any videos. So I waited for everything to come and I'm really excited to do this video and show you what I got from Killstar. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I missed you guys. Okay, so we're starting off first with the bullet bra dress. This dress is actually really cute. Um, it has the illusion of having curves into your frame. Um, so you feel like cinched in. This is not from Killstar. This is from somewhere completely different. I don't remember where I got it from, but it is, I probably have it in one of my haul videos, um, but this is definitely cute. Uh, I like it. I don't know where I'm going to wear it yet at all. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to, sorry, I was somebody texting me. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to wear this dress to, but it's definitely a look. I think it's cute. I think that if you style it properly, wear the right shoes, you're all good to go. So let's get to the next one. And just for a closer look up at the dress and also for some pictures for my thumbnail, just so you can see the whole thing. I have on stockings underneath. These are like some latex stockings, but um, this is what the whole dress looks like. If you have a curvier frame, it might pull you out just a little bit more than me. So but it's definitely a cute dress. I think it is. I definitely recommend it. I just wish the bullet part bra part was a little bit more pronounced and had like more of like a bullet or a bra look. There was a black one that I wanted because I usually don't wear colors and I'm so sad that it was sold out. So I ended up getting red, but let's go to the next one. Okay, so for dress number two, this is what it looks like. Like this dress is all right. I wouldn't say recommend it, because it's so simple that you can feel like what was I gonna say I feel like you can get it anywhere so it's just a good material it's a velvet material and it has damask print on there I paired it with a corset because it is very loose this is an extra small and if I take off my corset it's literally gonna be like so loose it was even loose on the model and I think the model was like a medium you see what I'm talking about there's so much space in here that you can, it's just for like, I think my stuff gonna catch on to me. <laughs> it's just for like, you know, just going out really quick or somewhere nice and you wanna wear something that's comfortable, not doing too much. So I recommend this dress if you want something that's simple, cute, and it still looks gothic. This is a dress for you. This is like a skater dress, it's cute. It's really cute. I actually like it if I'm like not in the mood to wear anything tight because sometimes I don't feel like wearing tight clothes. So this is a, what, what do I rate this dress? Like a 7 out of 10. It's not like everything, but it's something and it's cute. It's not ugly. So that's why I give it a 7 out of 10. But as you can see, it's a cute dress. It's for whatever you want it to be. So. Let's move on to the next thing. And by the way, if you go, I'm keeping that in the video because I don't know, I don't feel like editing that out. 
<laughs> um, by the way, if you guys ask in the video, this is not from Killstar, so I'm not going to be trying that on. Um, and I have that on my Instagram already, so I'm not trying that on. But it's not from Killstar. So, let's move on to the next thing. Yeah, this bathing suit, I feel like I should have listened to the reviews. I'm not even going to show the full thing because it's not cute at all. I don't like it. I'd rather wear it as a shirt. Um, it's just not giving me anything. It's like if I turn to the side like that, like I said, I'm not showing the full thing. But if I turn to the side like that, even to take a picture, I feel like it's not cute. It's not giving. It's not giving me what I want. It's not giving me what I need. And this is a definite no, and this is something that I would not, you would not see me wearing at the beach. I'm a fan of one pieces. This is a one piece, and I don't even like it. Um, I should have went with the other one, but you win some and you lose some, and I definitely lost on this one. Um, yeah. <laughs> not cute not flattering it doesn't even have the proper padding to it it's just very like makes you feel flat um it flattens everything to be honest and that's even like me looking in the mirror right now i'm like yeah that's definitely not it's not a look so this bathing suit is a five out of ten it's okay but it's not cute to me so it may be cute to somebody else though so let's go on to the next thing because I don't want to wear this anymore. <laughs> okay, so this dress is more on like the see-through side. I really like it. It's really cute. Let me move back just a little bit. But um, I do recommend wearing this dress. As you can see, I'm more of a, what would I say, a smaller chest size. So if I, I can get away with this, but if you do have like a bigger chest size, um, I would definitely not recommend doing that at all. I even recommend even wearing like a pasty underneath so that you can show the back if you'd like to because you don't want any like mistakes or anything to happen where you're just giving everybody a free show. So this is really cute. Like I said, it's very cute. It's very simple, but it's also like very like I don't know how to explain it. I always like these dresses. As you can see on my Instagram, I have dresses like this on, on all the time. So this is like definitely my vibe. This is definitely my look. I love it. It's a cute dress. It's simple, but it's really like slay and it looks goth and well, I don't know. It's everything to me. So this is actually one of my favorites. I give this dress a 10 out of 10, hands down. Let me show you the bottom. And I don't even think I would wear a corset with this, even though this is an extra small. I feel like some things don't need a corset, even though, like, even if you feel like it does, because it's so loose, but it's okay, because I will live without a corset with this dress on, but like I said, it's cute. Just make sure you're safe and you put on some pasties underneath. Next thing. Okay, so this one is actually the same exact concept. This one is a little bit more risky. Um, this one, I would definitely recommend wearing something underneath it, but I do have something on underneath it. So, but this is what it looks like. This is the skirt. I feel like this skirt could be a little bit more, how would I say? Like, a little bit more shortcut because it's so long and then it makes like the top that you're wearing with it look kind of awkward but the reason why I chose this skirt is because it has little bats on the buckles and I thought this would be a cute outfit so I just have to style it properly wear the right hairstyle with it other than that it's really cute I mean I feel like you can wear this shirt open but I'm scared to like do that right now <laughs> But you can definitely wear it open. Um, it's a cute look. I think this shirt is really cute. It's simple. You can wear it with like even like leather pants. Not even leather pants. Pleather pants because I'm vegan. I don't wear leather. But um, you can wear it with like a pleather pants or like a PVC. And like you have a look. I feel like I'm going to wear these. I said these. I feel like I'm going to wear this shirt with my PVC pants. And it's definitely going to be a look. I like it. Next. Okay, so this is one of the most simpler dresses that I got. This is literally just a very like meshy material, simple dress. Like say you wanna <laughs> flexing my muscles, oh my gosh. Um 
but this is a very like light material this is more so for the summertime but you can definitely definitely make this for a winter dress if need be um because it's like a simple base it's like a one two three thing it's like you can throw it on layer it even layer it you can even put like a turtleneck underneath it and wear like some like thick stockings and some boots with it and you're all good to go so this is definitely a simple dress i got it i thought it was cute on the model and i was like oh that would be cute on me so this is really has nothing to it this is just a one and done dress but um i still wanted to show you guys so let's go on to the more cuter things <laughs> What I noticed about Killstar's Extra Small is fits a little bit differently than everybody else's Extra Small. Um, it has more of a looser look to it, but this is a dress that I did really like when I was on there. Um, if you if you look closely, sorry, my phone was calling me. If you look closely, there is a little Wiccan, um, not really Wiccan, this is a satanic symbol, but who cares? Um, I really liked that. I liked that a little extra touch. If it was just like a normal black skater dress, I would not have got it. But it had that on there and I was like, that's cool. That's dope. I want that. So if I move back a little bit, you can see the length. A lot of their dresses on there are pretty long. Um, they're not short. They're not, it all depends on the cut, but most of their dresses on there are like midway you're not gonna get like a mini skirt from or mini dress from dolls not dolls kill from killstar because they don't really do that but you can definitely find mini skirts on dolls kill because they do that it's more of like a i don't know it's more of like a tiktok vibe on dolls kill the mini skirt vibe um, but sometimes I do like a longer skirt, especially if you're trying to go out. You don't want that much attention on your hoo-ha. So <laughs> these are really cute quality dresses and I definitely recommend them. So let's go on to the next thing. We got a couple more things left and then we're going to be done. <laughs> so I don't know if it's just me, but a lot of things fit differently on the models that you see on the website than it does on you and you play yourself and you think it's going to look different. But I do like this one because it does fit my midsection of it being tight enough and not feeling like it's falling off of me. This is actually a dress, it's an overall dress. As I saw it on the model, she did not have on an under shirt underneath this. It's just like a regular overall dress. Um, I thought it was really cute. I think, just making sure I'm not washing you guys. Um, yeah, I think it's really cute. I don't know i definitely would probably wear something underneath it just because i don't know i just don't like showing my arms that much um and it's gonna get colder so i don't want to like wear something that's gonna make me feel exposed um but let me push this down a little bit just so you can see the full thing okay this is like the bottom of it and this is the back the back kind of flares up a little bit which is kind of weird but <laughs> It's all good. I still think it's cute. I don't know. It's still a cute dress overall. But overall, overall, see what I did there? Okay, no. <laughs> but um, overall, like I said, it's still a cute dress. It's still like a simple dress enough to make it look even better. And then it has this little cross. It has an upside down cross on here, which is really cool. Um, I love that about Killstar where they have like really like hints of like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but they have like those little cute like accessories on their clothes. Their clothes are just not clothes, like they have cute accessories added on to their clothes. So that's what I love about Killstar. But <laughs> anyways, let's go to the next one. I think we have, I don't know, honestly I could show you this. This is literally just a sweater that I got from there. It's like more of like, it's on my Instagram. I can put a picture next to me. It's like a kind of like a distressed sweater dress. And I wore it to the city. It smells good. I still have my perfume on there. <laughs> um, but it's really cute. But I can show you guys the last dress on because that one is a little bit more difficult. And it has a lot going on in there. So it only makes sense to try it on. So let's do that. And that'll be the last dress. 
I'll be right back. Oops. Okay, I'm not gonna zip this dress up all the way because I don't feel like it, but this is the last dress. This is actually one of my favorite dresses. Um, it has a lot going on. It's a really good material, surprisingly. The velvet is really thick. Um, you have to just be careful with this one because when I do zip it up all the way, it kind of feels like it's choking me and it has like a choker effect to it. So I would just be extra careful with that because honestly, you just don't want to suffocate while you're out. <laughs> um, let me push this up a little bit. So yeah, this is the cutest dress that I think I got. Um, besides the skater dress that's kind of see-through, um, I think that all of them are actually cute to be honest. It's just like I do have some favorites more than others. So if that's anything. Uh, but this is the last dress. I don't know. I feel like I covered everything. Um, it was really nice making a video for you guys and saying hi and I'm definitely going to be back a lot more often because I'm going to be making a new dress. I don't know if you guys follow my fashion Instagram but um, I do make dresses on there and I post about it um, sometimes. So I'm in the process of making a new one so I'm going to try my best to actually make a YouTube video of the whole entire process of me making a new dress in general. And teaching you guys about sewing and all that stuff so this youtube is actually just based off of fashion honestly this is what i wanted my youtube's account to be i just never knew what my niche was and now i found it so definitely check out my other videos or my get ready with me's or how to style yourself videos and without further ado i will see you guys next time spice and kisses what did i say um, <laughs> see you guys next time I will be posting another video, stay updated, follow me on Instagram, and okay, it's bye for real this time. Okay, bye guys.